Prince Harry and Meghan Markle went on a three-night £33,000 baby moon at a Hampshire hotel favoured by celebrities. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are set to welcome their new baby in just a few weeks, stayed at the five-star Heckfield Place Hotel, reports The Sun. Recent guests at the Georgian mansion, which is situated in 400 acres of countryside, include Liv Tyler and Cara and Poppy de Levine. The expectant couple booked out the most expensive apartment in the chic hotel, which comes with its own dining room and private terraces. A friend told The Sun, Meghan is only a couple of weeks away from giving birth, so Harry really wanted to treat her. The pair reportedly went for walks in their wellies and chose to eat alone in their room, instead of visiting the two restaurants run by foodie favorite Sky Gingell inside the hotel. The cheapest room in the hotel costs £300 a night, while the most expensive, the long room, is £10,000. They were joined by three protection officers who also stayed at the hotel, which took six years to finish. The news comes after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex officially moved into their new home in Windsor in time for the arrival of the newest royal. The pair have moved into Frogmore Cottage after workers have spent months renovating the property. Meghan. 37, is set to give birth towards the end of this month and will enjoy a slower pace of life away from cameras in their new home in the countryside. Last month, it was announced that as well as moving from London to Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor Estate to the west of the capital, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be hiring an entirely new communications staff. It has also been rumored that Meghan will shun the Lindo wing breaking four years of royal tradition and opting for a private maternity unit near Windsor. Last month it was revealed that the couple had also spent a whopping £50,000 on a soundproofing unit for their new home in order to block out the noise from Heathrow jets. The couple have reportedly spent a record pound three million renovating their Grade 2 listed Frogmore Cottage which is situated in the grounds of Windsor Castle. The soundproofing measures are thought to include triple glazed windows, which will be handy in blocking out sounds from the 14 flights that pass within a mile of the house every 30 minutes. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were gifted Frogmore Cottage by the Queen and the building work will be covered by the taxpayer-funded sovereign grant. However, it is expected that Harry and Meghan will pay for the soundproofing out of their own pocket. With the arrival of the royal baby being imminent. Speculation is now rife as to what school the child would attend. Both Harry and William were educated at Eton College, the £40,000 a year boarding school just a stone's throw from Frogmore Cottage in the Windsor Estate, where Harry and Meghan have just moved in. Many parents put their son's name down for Eton College as soon as they are born. But it was reported in February the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are considering sending their new child to an American school in Eagan, Surrey. The royal couple are contemplating sending their child to an international school called the American Community School, ACS, Nigam according to the Sunday Times. The school has annual fees of £25,360 and offers students the chance to take a U.S. high school diploma and is located just four miles from Frogmore Cottage.